a fourth wave of COVID-19 has taken hold in the country. One of the states hit particularly hard is Louisiana, where low vaccination rates and the Delta variant have proven to be an alarming combination. Our Lady of the Lake Hospital in Louisiana's capital city now reporting at least one new COVID patient every hour. I'm going to bring in now the mayor of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, Sharon Weston Broom. Madam Mayor, thank you for being here. And you give me the, an idea of where you are on your, your hospital capacity, first of all, in your city. Well, TJ, we have are maxed out with our capacity, especially because we need uh, doctors and nurses, and our hospitals have reached out for federal assistance uh, in that area. Uh, is, are we at a point now, you said you're maxed out and you're looking for help, but are you now still seeing an upward trend, meaning this is only going to get worse in the near future? We have seen an upward trend uh, from July 30th, Friday to August uh, 2nd. We had 799 new cases, confirmed cases, and that's a short uh, period of time. So our consistent message is go get vaccinated. The benefits weigh uh, much uh, greater uh, than the deficit. So please, that's our message. Go get vaccinated. You are pleading with folks to do so. Louisiana has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the country. What, what is your rate? Do you have a specific Baton Rouge vaccination rate? Do you know where you all sit? Yes, uh, right now we're at uh, approximately 40% of our population here in the parish or county uh, has been fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. We have about 41% of our population that has had uh, one shot. So we still have a lot of room to grow and uh, we are consistent. We're boots on the ground. I would say we have a campaign uh, going on right now, and we have for quite some time to intensify and elevate the number of vaccinations in our area. So what combination is keeping a city like Baton Rouge that is hurting still at a 40 percent rate of vaccinations? I think it's a combination. I think it's a combination of misinformation, uh, bad narratives. I think it's a, a combination of uh, some complacency, maybe not quite sure. That's why we're encouraging people to get information from medical professionals. You mentioned children there, Madam Mayor. One last thing here, the, the governor has reinstated a, a mask mandate, indoor mask mandate. How much do you think that will help? But will that also be offset? We got kids about to go back to school now as well. And I know you want to be hopeful, but the reality is, what are you expecting there over the next month or so in your city? Well, I'm expecting compliance uh, with the mask mandate because I've had a, uh, many people who have reached out to me as we've been dealing with this variant and have encouraged going back to mm -hmm. a mask mandate so that they can feel more secure. Well, Madam Mayor, we are absolutely rooting for you. And uh, like a lot of communities around the country uh, about those vaccinations, can't get that message out enough. Baton Rouge, Louisiana Mayor uh, Sharon Weston Broom, ma'am, hope to have you back and have uh, that optimistic update uh, down the road, okay? I look forward to it, TJ. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.